can't see a thing. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and a very early morning in Norfolk. As you may have seen in my Q&A, I have just waited at least 20 minutes to get the setup right. And Mr. JWW has just cold started his Porsche GT3. Anyway, as I was saying, I am here in Norfolk with Seen Through Glass and Mr. JWW for a very exciting couple of days. If you may have seen my Q&A, I mentioned that I am doing my MSA race license. I have no experience of being on a racetrack. The first experience I had was a week ago or two weeks ago with the Ford Mustang. So I am going to be a real novice at this. I think James and Sam have had a lot more experience. Anyway, thanks, thanks for that cold start. I'm normally the one that does that with my exhaust. <laughs> I have bought the Nuke, James has bought the GT3 and Sam has bought the F-Type. So they're gonna be driving over to the Lotus Driving Academy in some style. I'm gonna be a passenger in Sam's car are you gonna come in this video or just laugh at me? I've got my new camera set up and they just think it's really, really funny. I'm, I'm getting used to it, guys, all right? It's, it's a great look. <laughs> look at this, he's got a windsock oh, and... The whole thing. If you notice, his foot is actually steady. Oh my God! No, yeah, yeah. Right, no. <laughs> How are you feeling about today? Uh, I've got serious pink eye, man. It's, it's, it's early, but I'm, I'm really good. in your room last it's night. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm super, super excited about it. We've got some... Uh, skid pan drift action going on today. So that I'm, I'm most excited about going sideways legally. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna jump in our cars, head over to the Lotus You're Driving your Academy. Car? No. Huh? no. It's a shame. Whose car are you good going? Good in? to see Who's that on the road. I'm um, gonna Uber it. <laughs> we have arrived. Let's and sign in. No idea what to do. So we have made it down here at Lotus HQ on a beautiful day. We have had a lot of fun driving some country roads and now we're here at the Lotus Driving Academy where I cannot wait to get behind the wheel of the Lotus Elise 220 Club Sport, which is a 1.8 litre supercharged lime green go-kart. It looks incredible. The rear diffuser is insane. Let's go and check it out and talk you through what we're gonna be doing today. So here it is, the car that we are going to be driving today, the Lotus Lotus 220 and look at it look I just think this looks so much fun and standing next to it it is so tiny it is this high it comes up to my waist and this car has been specifically set up for the skid pan so we've got the front tires on the rear which are slightly thinner and the rear tires on the front so we get a little bit more grip at the front end and a little bit less grip at the back so what we're going to do now is all jump in the family wagon go and uh, basically rig this car up with as many gopros as possible and head on to the skid pan this is going to be a pretty steep learning curve for me Feeling good, Paul? Mm, yeah, glad I had my breakfast. <laughs> 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 that was a proper. Then have to get that camera out. Good job. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. It looked good from out here. Did it? Yeah, yeah. You had some awesome ones around did the back. I? Yeah, yeah. Really oh, good. I'm pleased. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did actually. <laughs> I think I'd let. I enjoyed it when I, I. I didn't enjoy it when I came out of it. Like I would have much preferred to have held it. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, it's only really fine. <laughs> oh my god! Instant reaction from getting off the drift pan with the Lotus is what a load of fun. Living on the edge. You're literally living on the edge of traction there. Power on, power off, power on, power off, and then just losing grip and trying to basically 
<laughs> work out what to do when you're out of traction. Um, now it's James's turn. James is going to get his helmet on. <laughs> and um, this is seriously, seriously cool for a morning activity here down at Lotus Driving Academy. So second time round, I kind of got the hang of letting the car slip a little bit. It's just so against my nature and my instincts to let a car almost go out of my control to then try and catch it back in. And now we've got James going around the skid pan. So this is the first session, this is in the morning, just learning about what happens and how to control understeer and oversteer because it is the last thing that you want when we are on the track. We want to be going as smooth and as clinically tractionized as possible, making up words as I go along. But the whole idea is you want to be going as fast as possible around the racetrack, on the racing line, on the limit of traction. So lunch is done and I'm now walking the pit lane with James behind me in the passenger seat of the Exige Cup R, I think is the right, V6 Cup R. It has got 360 brake horsepower and it has got a paddle shift gearbox which I'm very much looking forward to get behind the wheel of. And the way that the next bit of this video is going to go, um, I'm going to jump in the passenger seat with Martin and then basically I'm going to be let loose in that car by myself. So that is when we're going to shove the GoPros up and you guys are going to hopefully be able to get to see me learning the track and hopefully putting in some half decent lap times. It sounds like James is on his way in, so all I'm going to do is film him, swap over, get some cool shots of the car driving and then uh, it's just going to be me sitting in anticipation waiting for my turn. <laughs> So here we go, point of view. Well, I'm not actually gonna be filming point of view. We've got a GoPro suction up there. This is it, V6 Cup R. This is my steering position. This is me strapped in. This is Patrick who's gonna hold my camera. Do you want, how, do you want to have it like that? Oh, so that yeah, that's what I did with James. Right, okay. So green button in, up into first. Find the buying point, shut us away into second gear and I'm going to talk as, I don't know, it's going to be really difficult for me to try and gauge what you can hear. So basically, this is my first time driving a race car by myself. And to give you an idea on all of the things that you have to think about when you are driving this car, you have to think about the speed that you're going, the gear that you're in, the revs that you're in, in that gear, where you are on the racetrack, your braking point, your turning point, your apex, whether you can put your foot down, how you gear change, going the right speed, and I mean, <laughs> this is just unbelievable to feel like this is what I'm experiencing. And I've learned a lot in the space of six hours. And I've had a lot of fun doing it as well. But there is so much that you need to learn at split second speeds. So it's a breaking point. Down and down, into third, into the chicane. Find the apex, even slower, find the other apex. And it is so fast. 360 brake horsepower in a car the size of a go-kart. grip so well and do you know what I've actually learned a lot about the physics of the car where to put the power down 
how quick to come out on the car and the corners. This day has been such a whirlwind experience that I can't really describe it. <laughs> that is adrenaline <laughs> and I had <laughs> let's say a lack of grip in fifth gear I don't even know what speed that was but turn in look for the exit Do it. I've got a newfound appreciation for any racing driver. It is not as easy as it is on the Xbox. So, we have finished. We have got Lotus there wheeling the Exige up onto its trailer, which is going to join us at Snetterton tomorrow for our first ever public track day with us driving and then we've also got our ARDS racing license test which is practical and theory pretty sure it's done in a Peugeot so we're not actually going to be doing the test in the Lotus car but it's been a fantastic day down here Lotus Motorsport and Lotus Driving Academy learned so much in such a short space of time and hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and hopefully I've actually like portrayed as much information as I can possibly think of whilst i'm trying to learn it myself ready for the test tomorrow it has been quite confusing and it actually has been quite a stressful day um bearing in mind the last week that i've had of not being able to upload <laughs> which has been just an un a different level of stress just to say the least it's quite windy so hopefully you're um, able to hear exactly what i'm talking about but that is it from lotus driving academy at lotus hq and lotus motorsport so thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't already there is going to be another video coming tomorrow of whether i pass or fail my race license so i feel quite nervous about it all <laughs> i can't believe this is happening so thank you for watching please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already and i look forward to seeing you very soon for some more lotus racing driving action